the three ways that everybody should be using LinkedIn in 2021 and beyond. Hi, my name is Chris Cozzolino, and I am the head of services and co-founder at Uptown Creation, a B2B marketing and business development company. Now, if you watched any of my past videos or if this video helps you out at all, please give it a like and subscribe to this channel. It really helps us out. So in this video, I want to talk about the three ways that you should be using LinkedIn. You know, whether you're an individual that is on a career path or whether you're a business owner, entrepreneur, or B2B business that's looking for new leads, this applies to you either way. So these are the three ways that LinkedIn has the most power at this moment and why LinkedIn is such a powerful platform. So let's jump into what that is. So first and foremost, what LinkedIn is really, really good at is being a networking platform. So the first bullet point that I want to talk about is direct outreach and making new connections on LinkedIn. Now you can do this in a number of different ways. If you are a salesperson or if you're trying to grow your book of business, you can do this by, you know, sending connection requests to new leads. But if you're in a career role and you're just trying to position yourself to get promotions, get new career opportunities, what I would recommend is connecting with people that look like you is what I always like saying. So I'm a pharmacist. And for that reason, I connect with other pharmacists because that's kind of the ecosystem that I want to be in. What I recommend to people that are working at Uptown Creation is going out and connecting with those job titles. So for example, if you're a customer success manager, really hone that role and connect with other CSMs, other customer success managers, just to build that network of relationships. You know, it's a lot easier to start those conversations when you're not trying to sell them anything and you're not trying to sell the, to people at all. And I think LinkedIn, which for good reason, is having a lot of people that are doing direct sales because it's a great platform for that. But what I think not a lot of people are doing is using it for that true relationship building that could propel your career. Now, on the other side, if you're doing it in a way that you want to lead to direct sales, that's great as well. And the best way to do that is going to be through direct outreach. And so what that means is, you know, sending anywhere from 10 to 50 connection requests a day using titles that look like your archetype or titles that look like you. And then starting a conversation around either something that you look up on their website, something that you see on their LinkedIn page, something that interests you about why they should want to do business with you or why they should want to learn more about you as a person and or company. So direct outreach, regardless of whether you're doing it for sales or doing it for career progression, that is the number one way to use LinkedIn that everybody should be doing, regardless of what you're looking for and looking to get out of LinkedIn. So number two is for branding. And so branding gets a bad rap in my opinion, just because people talk all about, you know, building your personal brand, you need a personal brand, your network is your net worth, all of those cliches. And for that reason, I think people kind of get a bad taste in their mouth when they hear personal branding. So I want to put a different spin on it in a way. So I think the best type of content that you could be putting out is content that's directed at people that look like you. So again, I'm saying that in Let's go back and use the example of a customer success manager. If you're a customer success manager, you should be either creating videos or talking about experiences and interactions that you're having with customers, you know, both the highs and the lows, the good and the bad that you're learning throughout this career progression that you're having. Because that'll do a number of things. One, it'll kind of give people a taste of your voice. Two, it'll show potential prospects or potential future employers employers that you are in the dirt doing the work, you know what's going on. And it's very clear because you're able to convey that and almost teach that to the other people that you're connected with. You're, you're connected with other customer success managers. And what that's also going to in turn do is build that personal brand. You know, people are going to see posts popping up on their feed. They're going to see your name and they're going to start associating your name with that thing that you're talking about. So 
if it's a really MLM push of, you know, beauty products, and every time you make a post on LinkedIn, it's about selling these beauty products under the MLM that you're under, that's going to be what people start associating your name with for better or for worse. Now, if you start talking about a specific topic matter that is interesting to the people that you're connected with, then that's what they're going to start associating your name with. So the sword cuts both ways in that manner. And when I think about personal branding, I really just think about, you know, talking about the things that you're doing and the things that you're passionate about, but not in a gimmicky way, not in a way that you need to learn. It just needs to be in a way that's authentic to you. And that's going to be the thing that allows you to see the most success. And like I said, and I, I kind of alluded to, people are going to see your name popping up and that alone is, is the reason to post. So using LinkedIn stories is a really underutilized thing right now. I think I'm connected with you know over 20,000 people and maybe 20 of those people are posting stories on a consistent basis. And that's kind of free screen real estate. If you're thinking about somebody's phone, that's free prime real estate when they come into LinkedIn. Now, the last or the third thing that I want to talk about is using LinkedIn to keep track of your pipeline, your leads, and your interactions that you're having. You know, this doesn't have to always be about generating sales, generating leads. It can also just be about, you know, keeping notes on people that you've had conversations with. Originally, LinkedIn was built for networking, built for career-oriented people. So being able to, you know, go to a conference when things open back up, connect with somebody, and then leave a note about the conversation that you had. Or, you know, try to follow up with them three months later and having that set up in a way on LinkedIn, especially if you have LinkedIn sales navigator. So the way to do this would be to create some lead lists. And so let's say that um, you go to E3 tech conference, you can make a list called E3 2021. And now you can start adding all of the new people to this list. So you can kind of have some context and then to go even a little bit further, I'm just going to add somebody random so you can kind of see the power of it. Once you add somebody to that list, you can then go in and leave notes on those people. So, you know, you can leave a note here about exactly what you relate with that person on and use it kind of like a customer relationship manager or CRM. Most individuals don't use a CRM. You know, they put stuff in their phone. And then you might put something associated with the contact, but you might not, especially if you're using this for career progression, just being able to keep track of all of the contacts that you have and really do your due diligence to follow up with those people. You know, it works for sales for a reason and it works for developing yourself as well. So using LinkedIn sales navigator specifically as a way to keep track of all the activities that are taking place and kind of using it as a CRM for your life and for yourself is a really powerful tool that you can get for a really low cost. So those are the three ways that everybody across the board, regardless of whether you're using LinkedIn for career progression or whether you're using LinkedIn for direct sales, direct outreach campaigns, it all falls into the same bucket and the actions and the activities all take the same form. They just look a little bit different regardless of that end goal. But like I said, for people that are career oriented, I think that that is one of the most untapped parts of LinkedIn since everybody's trying to see an ROI. But if you're at a nine to five role that you want to progress and grow at, being able to set you know an hour or a week aside to some LinkedIn strategy can really, really go a long way. So hopefully this was a helpful video. Leave what questions you have in the comments below. Like and subscribe to this video if this was helpful at all. And until next time.